Hi, I'm Amy Dunker at Clark University. Welcome to Trumpet Quick Lessons. This is the Getchel Second Book of Practical Studies, number 83. It's an allegretto, so it's a fairly uh, moderately fast tempo. Uh, it's got a couple of rhythms in there. You want to look at the dotted quarter eighth and making sure the eighth is exactly where it needs to be placed, as well as the dotted eighth sixteenth. So you want to have one and two and three right there at the beginning. And in the second measure, you want one e and a two e and a three. So you want to make sure those rhythms stay where they belong. Um, you want to watch out for the low Ds, making sure that you get your slides out. And make sure they're in when you're doing a two and three because it's the same, same slide. So if you listen to that D, when it's all the way in, it's sharp. Okay. Um, this one's a good one for technique, especially for that third finger, uh, like the first 16th, grouping of 16th notes in bar one. So you, want doo -doo -doo -doo. so you want to make sure that these are getting down good and solid. Get your finger out of, out of this because these two fingers are on the same tendon. And so when you do this, it can slow it down. So you want to just, I let it fly. If you've got big enough hands, you can just, you know, rest it there if you, if you need to. Uh, let's see. Um, there are no, there's forte and there's no other dynamics. So I like to just put some in to make it more interesting. Um, so I kind of like play the first one, first phrase, the first two bars loud and like, Play the second phrase a little softer, just to give it a little direction. Um, you can do any number of things. This would be the first two bars loud and the second two bars softer as, a, as in an echo. Or you could do the first four bars loud and the next four bars as an echo. It just makes it more interesting. Um, I'd like to do the ascending pattern in bar in the last line, or second to last line, last measure. That's a great place to do a nice crescendo. It's a nice place to do a crescendo for the last line in the finale. So, do some different things musically. You might even want to make a couple of copies of the page and just write in some crescendos and decrescendos in, in different places, some different emphasized notes, and look at and play through your different versions and see what you like and see how many how creative you can be with it.